This message has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the support of our members, we're able to bring this content to you. So please visit our website at www.irrigatortech.com to find out how you can become a member and support our videos. Hope you enjoy this one. All right, we're going to install a PVC lock T. So one very important thing we need to remember is we need a square cut on the pipe and we also need to ream it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a little trim here. Go. You hand me that right by the Teflon tape. This guy? Yes, sir. So here's my reaming tool. So what this is going to do is just kind of take the edges off. Make a nice smooth surface so that my teeth from the fitting can grab into that. So. There it is. The beauty of this is that we have a seal here, but see how it also articulates a little bit. So if you need to get in there, you know, put your pipe in, you can do that. And it's a sealed surface. So now on to the T's and we'll get these manifolds installed. Alright, so now we're going to install the manifold. So we have a T here and we're going to use 290s. So we have about an inch that we push in to go into the coupling. So we did about two and a half inches, so that gives us about a half an inch so we can see that we have a good seal. So see, we just push it in, it seals. One, two. Looks pretty good, now to install the valves. Okay, so now we're going we to we're going to install our valve. So we have this set up here. We have the hydrain valve, PVC lock, one inch male adapter. We have our pressure regulating filter system here, and then we have our three quarter inch blue lock, which we're going to run on our laterals. So installing my manifold again. This helps a lot. I can angle that up. Make sure I have it nice and seal in there. Make sure we have a nice clean surface here. There's my valve installed. Fast, efficient. Right there. Got my manifold installed.